a hundred yes a hundred black owned um handbags designers yes a hundred whether you are on a budget or whether you are bougie and buy nothing but luxury item I can guarantee you that you're gonna find a designer on this list that will suit your taste that will suit your budget and that will be perfect for you I swear we have so many talented black owned handbags designers that I don't understand why they're not really pushed out there the way they're supposed to be promoted Hey guys, my name is Marinelle. I am a commercial fashion stylist. I know it's been a while since I've been in front of this camera, but here I am today. And today's topic is quite interesting, according to me. It is a fashion talk video, and I would love to list a hundred, yes, a hundred black owned um, handbags designers. Yes, a hundred. Since I know that you guys have a short attention span here on YouTube, I'm not gonna list all those 100 in this video. I'm gonna make two videos. So I'm still gonna list 50, which is a lot. But hey, I'm gonna make two videos. One will be published today and the other one will be published next week, same day, same time. Well, not same day, like a Wednesday. Whether you are on a budget or whether you are bougie and buy nothing but luxury item, I can guarantee you that you're gonna find a designer on this list that will suit your taste that will suit your budget and that will be perfect for you or for a friend or a family member as a gift or your or your significant other also I'm not gonna waste your time any longer and let's get to a four out of the way first because 70% of you are 75% if not more already know about the four I'm gonna be 100% honest, I do not understand the hype about Telfar. It is the same design, just different color, different sizes, which is actually smart because they don't spend a lot of money in production and they don't have to promote too many items and they are known for one thing, so that is actually a smart marketing tactic. They manage to make you think that it is exclusive and inaccessible, so you guys want it. So every time they have a drop, you guys are on the website, if they drop at 9 a.m., let's say, you guys are on the website at 8.45, just refreshing the page and just waiting and just waiting so that you can get one. But it is good to see that so many people want to encourage a black designer. So tier 4 is definitely a company that I would advise you guys to check. Number 2 is Love Courtney. This company was founded in 2011, I believe. Um, her story is very, very nice to hear. She started sewing her grandmother's kitchen and it just became her passion and she never stopped sewing and she kept growing and she saw that people had an interest so it became a company the company is located in the u.s but they do ship internationally number three 217 um this is a company that i would really really hope will blow up by next year because her design is so beautiful so unique she's a young fashion designer very beautiful young fashion designer and honestly i'm excited to see where this company is gonna go through the years please check her out please support her it's time for this company to actually blow up silver and riley is another company that you guys should definitely not sleep on whether you are a man or a woman you are going to find something that you love in that company if you have the budget for it they do have a wide range of travel luxury bags just please check them out it's definitely another black owned company that i'm excited to see blow up over the years because their design is pretty dope number five brendan black hood this designer is so dope so dope the product is like the quality of the product is amazing brendan black hood is already known he's already very popular but if i could if i want if there is one company that I want you guys to remember, it is Blended Blackwood. Definitely check him out. Number six, TLK Lifestyle. Kira Henry is the founder. Um, her products do give me Telfar vibes, meaning it is the same style of bag, just different color and different sizes. Either way, dope designer, check her out. Number seven, Nathaniel Noir. Well, Nathaniel Noir is the name of the designer. The name of the company is Noir X Apparel. Let me tell you something he did the damn thing with every single one of his collection there is not one bag according to me of course that is a miss Nathaniel Noir is very you know for him is one of the designers that also I cannot wait to see blow up over the years just so dope 
such a dope designer. Voni is number eight. Well, the company's name is Shop by Voni. The designer name is Jevoni. She brands herself as being eco-friendly and very intentional in her design. And check out her website for sure. Her handbags are stunning. Number nine, House of C or Host of C, I'm not sure. This company is located okay in the US. They do deliver internationally. Just definitely make sure that you check them out. She's a designer that I truly want to name. Number 10, Just One Design, another black owned company that I have to name and I would love for you guys to go and support. Next, that's Amanis. She is a beautiful African sister, just gorgeous. Just her bikes are also gorgeous and very unique. She's been in the business for over two decades, if my memory serves me correctly. And, uh, very unique design, very pretty bags. Uh, number 11 is that's Amani's. Number 12, Omagir. Just look at that. And that. And that. And I have more. Just take a look at this. Yeah, I'm just going to let the pictures speak for me. Omagir is number 12. The official Athena is next. Um, it is a luxury leather handbag company. They are located in the US, but they do ship worldwide. Meat House, they are located in Ghana, but they do ship internationally. Due to the fact that they are located in Ghana, you do have to expect a little fee for the shipping though. Um, a lot of fee for the shipping, that's really what I meant to say. But it doesn't even matter just go support it doesn't even matter i'm not sure how to pronounce the name but daniel or daniel whatever Dieprier, that's how i would love to pronounce it but i am not sure oh the bags are so pretty the bags exude elegance simplicity luxury uh, they are located in the UK, but they ship internationally. You do have to expect to pay a little fee, but it doesn't even matter. Just, uh... Origin culture, um, their design are rooted in the African culture. Matter of fact, I believe that many of their handbags, they are shaped like the African continent. Hopefully, I'm not saying something stupid. Please be the judge and correct me if I'm wrong, but Origin Culture is another company that I would love for you guys to check out. Mifflin is a leather goods company that is focused on creating durable and high quality product. Honestly, the product that I love the most is this one right here. Um, it's gonna be here right here, somewhere in the screen. Um, I would love to say, can somebody buy it from me? But the fact that it is leather goods and I don't really buy leather products like that, you guys don't care. Next. Lina Liss or Lina Liss, I'm not sure. It is an affordable luxury brand whose motto is true luxury is found in life experiences. Susu, they create what they call everyday handbags, day-to-day -day handbags. Their designs very clean, the bags are very elegant and chic. Number 20, Pentade in blue. And no, all their products are not the color blue, but they are handmade and they are very luxurious. Moa Lola is a Nigerian fashion designer and a singer located in the UK. Ashia, they create um, leather travel handbags or accessories. It can be passport bags, crossbody bags, belts, so that you can any stuff while you're at the airport around your waist and you can be more comfortable their products is very dope cost a pretty penny but it's very dope Florian London another leather handbags and accessory company Feben or Feben unfortunately they only sell their product in Essence or Raven I don't think it has changed since the beginning of the year that's the last time I checked them out um, just check out the pictures so dope. Muji Lagos is next on the list. They are located in Lagos. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by the name, but they do ship, they do sell internationally. Cotton Yaito, I am so happy that he's finally starting to get his flower. It deserves more though, but he's finally starting to really be out there. Like everybody's starting to know about him, to know his design, to recognize his design, and I'm truly happy about that. Anima Iris, I I'm just going to let the picture speak for itself. Just boom, look at this. 
and tell me that you guys don't think that it's beautiful I want this bag can somebody please get me this bag it's just $500 it's not a lot not for this brand they are not a cheap brand as you guys can tell but it is really like luxury i need me a sugar daddy right a sugar daddy that i don't have to give sugar to that's what i need plug by bianca m they do sell apparel jewelries handbags they do sell a lot of fashion items to me they are a mix between telfar and c store matter of fact let me go with c store next C store um they really pe people started really to notice that brand for their protect black women or protect black people handbags that's really their most popular collection and i'm sure that many of you have seen their bags or their design already they do have a great design not just that but can somebody get me this bag okay you guys don't care okay I i'm gonna stop saying this because i'm sure you guys don't care and that's okay that's fine Number 31, Brother Velius. Ooh. The elegance, the luxury, the sophistication, the, the simplicity, the beauty, and the price. And the price. Not a cheap brand. Not at all. But on a serious note though, they are worth every penny. Y'all spend thousands of money on gucci saint laurent givenchy i mean y'all can spend thousands on black brothers and sisters too brother Velias is definitely number 31 you should definitely check them out helmer helmer is a family company founded by a mother and two daughters they're very pretty they're gorgeous women and so are their design they want their buyers from my understanding from an understand from their design and their model and who they are they want their bags to be a perfect balance between functionality style and practicality kaya dua they are a handmade handbag company located in ghana but they do ship worldwide just expect to pay a pretty penny for the delivery it doesn't even matter like i said off-white off-white was founded by virgil abloh unfortunately he recently passed away but his company still remains and i believe that the people that he was working with plan to continue with designs offer more products etc cheyenne kimora she is very known for her crystal mesh handbags very cute handbags that will definitely add a touch to your night out outfit so cute just very pretty Zaf hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly Z-A-A-F they have a men collection woman collection jewelries accessories but this video is about handbag and you can check their website for more pictures of other items daily paper or a nigerian company well the founder is nigerian but the company is in amsterdam even though the company is in amsterdam you can find their product i believe in some stores here and there i found out about them in a store in canada their design is very clean and very simple so you it's the, it, it, it cannot be a miss it's just very clean very simple mwr collection uh luxury lifestyle goods they sell a little bit of everything and <laughs> they sell handbags they sell clothes they sell accessories they sell home decor they sell furniture but this video is about handbags so i'm only gonna show you guys pictures of handbags on the screen FW style, the designer's name is Alexandria, if my memory serves me correctly. TLZL Farm is an American company, they're located in LA. They are known for their fashion, but I think that they are now introducing handbags in their collection because they don't have a lot of handbags um, from what I know. But either way, those little handbags that they have are very popular, very known, very popular, and everybody wants them. So you better rush to the website and get you one. Another designer that I think is now starting to introduce handbags in her collection is Andrea Iyama. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She is a gorgeous African sister talented and gorgeous african sister and so are her designs Joom accessories is number 32 whether you're looking for beaded bags regular handbags leather bags Joom's accessories got you bruce glenn um this company is founded by twin brothers and they are so good looking there is not 
Okay, I'm gonna stop. And they are men of God. What else do you want? Their designs are very bold and very electric, very colorful, and they specialize in leather accessories. Coca Collection is located in Swatini. Um, I, I think it's meant great grandmother if I remember. Great grandmother in their language, which is Siswati. I think it's Siswati. Don't hold. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Ferrington, my favorite collection from this company is Gamin. So beautiful. Ari 500 is located in New York City. They are not very popular though, but I cannot wait for them to, for their brand to really take off because it is worth it. The Amaholic Lifestyle, um, their designs are very clean. To me, there is a lot of similarity between their goods and TKL Lifestyle but very pretty design very clean very simple like it cannot be a miss clutch by b her model is luxury goods without the luxury price tag she also designed for men she also designed footwear and apparel and k henry lifestyle is a number 49 they were founded in 2009 Ooh, 49 2000 okay whatever they do ship worldwide and they offer a wholesale option which is pretty cool if you would love to have black owned goods in your store then check them out nk henry lifestyle number 50 last but not least were for this video because there will be a part two with other black owned handbags designers tosha handbags what i love about them is they do offer the option for you to create your own handbags so you can work with them say the color the style the style of the handle pretty much everything and they can work with you and help you create your own handbags if you would love to give something special and unique significant other to your mother your sister your best friend tosha handbags definitely got you like i said this was only part one i do have a part two where i will list another group of 50 black owned designers that according to me are very talented well but then again they can be talented for me but you don't like the style which i think is how come can you not like them to me every single one of their these designers is just freaking talented but i invite you guys to check part two when it will be released next week if there is a designer that you plan on buying from after watching this video please let me know it will really warm my heart to know that there is one designer that you guys had discovered because of this list i am going to put a pdf document though in the description where i will name every single one of those 100 designers because i don't expect you guys to remember all the names that i named in this video if you guys love this video you guys liked it make sure that you give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next week for part two of this series